Welcome to the colony. Hello Gothic friends, in today's video I am going to show you how to install the Gothic 1 Unreal Engine and be able to enjoy this beautifully reimagined version of the game. It's an unofficial add-on for it, not an add-on actually, it's more like a, a mod. But in order to be able to enjoy it, you have to own the game on Steam. Once you do that, I'm going to show you how to actually activate it. It's quite easy, it's just a couple steps and a couple gigabytes of memory. So in order to do it, I'm going to show you. So without further ado, let's dive deep into it. So once you are on Steam, all you have to do is find your graphic one, right click on it, properties, and in the window betas, you will have to participate in the beta and click on the right side. And here you will find a couple versions of the game. Normally you will play probably with Workshop beta because you want to play with the mods. And here you will have the Unreal beta graphic classic in Unreal. And that's all you have to do. The game will update, it will have three something gigabyte or some something like that. You will have just to wait for it and then you can simply press play. Once this opens, you have to select which you want to play. Yeah, I want to play the Unreal, but I don't want to have this option always. I want them to ask me which one I really want. You just press play. The game is going to load and you can start a new game. The controls are different. You will have to look in the settings what you want. With the E, you have the control or with the mouse. Here is also a mouse. The sensitivity, you have to do to set it yourself and everything. The graphics, you will have to send. The audio is bugged just in the... And you can reduce it only from the master and the effects. The music will always reset. Without that, the music is going to be so loud that sometimes it's really hard. In the gameplay options, you have a lot of options. As you can see, you can highlight items, you can have subtitles, dialogues, interface tips, and so on. You have a lot of stuff. You, you can have the lock picking a lot harder. Battle timing makes the battle harder and so on. So that's all you have to need about it. If you have the German version, actually it's much better if you have it because it's going to show you here where is it? Not Russian, not Poland, German. It will say colony for Lassen, which means leaving the colony. I wish that was implemented in the English version also, but it is what it is. So thank you very much guys for joining me. I hope you will have fun with the with the game. Be cool and bye bye.